motivation for most people to try and do this mechanic because he's flat. Do I have an angle? No. But this is where we gotta scratch our heads. Is his arm away from his body? Yes. So now it's a matter of how do I make the angle? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so we're here. I don't skip a beat. So we're here. If I just turn my hips and he drops his elbow to the floor, I get nowhere, right? I've got to bait him. So he has connection to me, he wants to keep connection. So if I lift my knees off the ground, what does he do? He follows it, right? So now remember what I said? Relax right there. Remember what I said about that four point bass drill? How we're, our knees are moving, all right, chill out. And then we're coming underneath. Yeah, so we're here. Serious business. So now I lift my knees, he follows, I turn my hips. Now I'm underneath, guess what? I start driving my hips until they touch his shoulders, and I cup his neck. Now when I take one big step, what position am I in? <laughs> now we're right here, and it's like, cool. Punch the head in, make your catch, move back, find the leg. Now we're in a move. So one more time. Now let's do it on the other side. So I'm here, just hanging out. I notice they're not turning into me. But because of that frame, it's a pain in my butt. So I lift, turn and slide. Now I'm underneath the shoulder. And this hand is just on the floor, comes back to the neck. I cup the neck. And now as I drive, I'm turning my hips, and that flips him over right into the position. Push the head down, make my catch. From here, since I'm closer to his head, I'll do the slide. Turn, make my catch, finish. Let me switch out.